Hey YouTube, welcome to Living Survival. In this video, I'm gonna show you the contents of my 72 hour bag, bug out bag, get home bag, whatever you wanna call it. For me, it's a multi-purpose bag that goes with me wherever I go. This past week in Michigan, we had a major ice storm that knocked out power for over three days with no electricity and no heat. So I used many of the items in this bag and I was very thankful to have it. So let's get into it. So in addition to my bug out bag, there's several items that I do carry with me that don't go in the bag, but I do carry them every day with me. First is my Glock 23, 40 caliber handgun. This comes with me at all times. I carry a handheld radio with me. This is the Baofeng BFF8 Plus. Uh, get weather on this, can get local police, uh, pretty much any uh, repeater or signal that's uh, in your area you can pick up with this. I carry a Leatherman Sidekick. I love this multi-tool. I like it a lot better than my Wave or my Surge. It has just the right tools that I need on an everyday basis. It has a great uh, pocket clip, spring-loaded uh, pliers. It has a Phillips and a flathead, several blades, a file, can opener. To me, this is the perfect sized Leatherman for everyday carry. It's nice and lightweight. I carry my keys on my keychain. I have a paracord uh, keychain. I have a Phoenix EO1 light. I use this light all the time. It's an awesome light. And then I just have a little CRKT folder. Nice little sharp knife that I use all the time as well. Obviously I have my cell phone with me at all times. This has GPS. It has a bunch of different apps. Even if the signal isn't working and then once in a while I'll carry a fixed blade a larger fixed blade such as this Becker BK2 also I carry several items in my vehicle at all times including a wool blanket a sleeping pad and usually I'll have a tent and a sleeping bag in there as well and I also carry in my car a jet boil these things are awesome you can within about a minute you can boil water you can make uh, you know a lot of different dishes with this oatmeal rice uh, ramen um, so it's a great thing to have if you quickly need to just boil up and get some hot water very fast everything including the you know the gas and everything packs into this tiny little package all right so now let's get into the bag on this side I have a condor axe this thing is great for chopping and splitting wood I've used it many many times I have a mini roly-poly, great for collecting tinder or something on hikes and uh, when you're camping or when you're just in the woods. And then I have this Maxpedition water bottle holder, and there's several things in here. On the outside I have, I just picked these up the other day, these are packets of peanut butter, and these are 190 calories per ounce, so they're a ton of calories per ounce, and I've never really seen them before. They're in these uh, little sealed packets, and... Um, you know, they'd be great for some extra energy if you needed it. Also in here I have a mesh sack. In the mesh sack I have a uh, small pack towel. Very handy when you need a quick towel. And then I also have a uh, emergency filter by Frontier for uh, drinking water in, a, in an emergency if I had to. And then in the uh, water bottle holder here, or the water container holder, I carry a Nalgene bottle. And I also carry my Toke 750 mil uh, titanium pot. It has a lid that goes down in the bottom of the water bottle holder very easily. And it also nests with your Nalgene. So, works very good for me and it takes up no extra room. In the Nalgene bottle I have some instant coffee, some oatmeal, some tea. And then I also have a uh, spork in there as well, a titanium spork. Alright, so on the other side of the pack here, 
I always carry a water bottle with me. Uh, this is a stainless water bottle. These are great because you can put them right on the fire and boil water if you had to. I just have a locking carabiner here. In this pouch, I have my Phoenix PD35 uh, light. This uh, light is insanely bright. Um, it also has strobe, uh, has I think three or four different modes. Awesome light. Then also in this pouch I carry a set of binoculars. I have the Nikon Aculons. They're really small and lightweight. Alright, and then on the back of the pack here, in the hydration pouch, I have a 2 liter Camelback. Alright, so let's get into the main contents of the pack here. Undo all the compression clips. In the very front of the bag here, I have paracord, about 75 feet. I carry stakes with me. These are uh, very lightweight and uh, heavy duty. Couple of glow sticks, a uh, Laplander saw, a roll of Gorilla Tape, and a few bungee cords. These are great for strapping or lashing things on to the pack. And in addition, this top strap comes in really handy if you want to put uh, things like a bedroll, a tent. Uh, I carry my tripod up here if I'm going out to film something. In this front pouch here, I have a Eton weather radio. It's a crank radio, so you can crank it up. It has a nice flashlight. It has weather bands, AM, FM, uh, it charges via solar as well, and it also claims to charge your cell phone. It's got a USB port here, although you have to crank constantly, um, and I have a better method for that. I have a Princeton Tech headlamp. I have a SOL utility blanket, and this has the uh, reflective surface on one side, great for directing heat from a fire or using as, you know, a blanket to carry wood, uh, a tarp. I have my Condor Bush Lore knife. I have my 180 TAC uh, VL stove. I did another video on this if you want to check that out. I have a CRKT neck knife. And then I have my fire starting kit, which is in a Maxpedition cocoon. In here I have a bunch of stuff. I have wet fire, I have a ferrocium rod, I have some UCO stormproof matches, as well as some tinder. I have a lighter and uh, some char cloth. It has a keeper and on the keeper I have a Smith's uh, Pocket Pal sharpener, some chapstick, a uh, thermometer and it also has a compass on it and then uh, another titanium spork. I carry a black diamond lantern, runs off triple A's, and then I have a very lightweight uh, head net by Sea to Summit. Alright, so in the admin pouch here, I have a right in the rain pad, I have a sharpie, and then I also have 
uh, a tactical pen. Now this is a six dollar downforce pen. It's made by Pilot. This will write in extremely cold weather, wet weather, upside down, um, and uh, you know it's not very tactical as far as it's not made out of any durable material, but it does float. And to me, for six bucks, uh, way better than a tactical pen. Then on the back side here, I have some hand warmers. and my Sunto compass. All right, so let's go into the main pouch now. Now on the Maxpedition, it doesn't clamshell, but it does open quite a ways, and I do uh, actually prefer that better, so that if you're hanging it from a tree, it doesn't clamshell all the way open on you. So up top here, I have my Maxpedition med kit. I use this all the time. It's got uh, stuff for small wounds, large wounds, uh, some wet wipes. It's got uh, some bug repellent, some super glue, some sunscreen, uh, some Advil, Tylenol, some hand sanitizer, some moleskin, and then a bunch of different sizes of gauze and pads and things like that. I have a Goal Zero solar charging kit. This will it takes about five hours to charge uh, through the sun, or you can charge it through USB. And it charges this little battery pack here, which you can plug into your cell phone, and it'll charge it up a couple times. The other great thing about this is that while you're hiking, you can strap this onto your bag so that it'll pick up. Uh, a charge while you're while you're moving. I carry a couple of uh, dehydrated meals here. I have a beanie. I have some uh, liner gloves. I have some long underwear and a long underwear top. Some of these items I'll switch out depending on the season. Right now it's winter in Michigan, so I'm carrying uh, things like the long underwear, things like wool socks. All right, so I also have a Sea to Summit uh, Reactor Extreme Mummy Liner. This takes my sleeping bag down uh, about another 10 degrees. I have a dry sack. I have my toiletry kit, which has just your basic uh, toiletries in it. Toothbrush, lotion, floss, deodorant, baby powder, things like that. And then in the bottom here, I'm able to get a full sleeping bag. So this is my uh, Snug Pack Softy Elite. And uh, in the winter, I carry a sleeping bag and a liner in here which in the summertime, I would swap that out for a Snug Pack Sill Tarp and my Eno Hammock. And then finally, in this pouch in the back, I have a sewing kit, extra batteries, and a lock sack. And then an emergency blanket, which can also be used uh, as a shelter, uh, ground tarp, things like that. So that about does it for what I carry in my get home bag, my 72 hour bag, or as I like to call it, my multi-purpose bag. It comes with me wherever I go in the vehicle. And in addition to my everyday carry items and the items that I carry in my vehicle, I feel that I'm pretty well prepared for anything, uh, that happens if I couldn't get home or even when I'm at home. For example, we just had a major ice storm that came through Michigan. Our power was knocked out for several days and I certainly relied on this bag for many different items including the emergency radio, uh, the headlamp. I, I used the jet boil quite a bit to boil up some water. So I hope you enjoyed this video on what goes in my bug out bag, my 72 hour bag or my get home bag, whatever you'd like to call it. If you have any comments, please leave them below and I'll be sure to answer them. And as always, click the thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos.